So I, I was in Beijing a couple of weeks ago, as I was mentioning, I was asking university students, uh, government officials, uh, business people, what would be their markers of the Xi era being a success or not a success in terms of, of reforms they'd want to see in four or five years. Five years from now, if you look back and say, oh yes, he accomplished this and that means it's working, or he didn't do that and that means the system is too rigid, what will be the markers you'll look for? Well, a, a number of things. First of all, they really need to reinvigorate economic reform. No doubt about it. They've, uh, this, the current economic model is uh, re really running out of steam. And so, and that's a lot easier said than done. So there's a whole list of things they need to do. I, I would say if I would just say it most simply, that they need to rely more on markets and the private sector and less on government administrative controls. They need to continue the reform of the state-owned enterprises, have them compete on a level playing field. They need to, uh, to place much less reliance on, uh, on uh, economic growth that stems from government investment and in infrastructure and much less reliance on exports. They need to grow their economy domestically faster. They need to reform the, uh, their, their uh, capital markets. Uh, so there's a lot they need to do there, but th that's just the economic side. They clearly, he has to make progress on corruption, which is a huge point of contention with the Chinese people. He needs to make uh, progress in the environmental area because they're angry about the dirty water and dirty air, so they need to make progress there. And I think lastly, and as importantly as anything else, is they need to improve governance, transparency, the rule of law, because without the rule of law, they're not gonna be successful in terms of what they wanna do economically and politically over the long term. And the country is so big and so complex now, and it's essentially, the reason I've gone to China so much, it's a, a country that's sort of ruled by men as opposed to laws, and it's, it's, so its relationships are very important. And so to build those institutions and strengthen the rule of law, which I, I'm, I'm sure he's committed to, to, to do, those are some big challenges.